Hey, you fantastic, amazing, incredible, amazing. I said that twice. Who cares? You are double amazing coach. I am here. I am Ben Dooley, MCC coach. I am here to help you grow, stretch, expand, deepen, totally step into your amazing coaching power. And with every way I can, I've got advanced courses, amazing high-end training, stuff that you will not get anywhere else. And these videos, these little videos, these little bits of videos to help you little nudges, little insights, little discoveries, and little things that I can pass along to you to help you and your coaching grow. If you want more, you can always check out, keep coming here, check out my website, bedo.org. I've got a free membership that has all these videos, plus tons of free audios, plus tons of other things. I mean, it's all here. So come in and get it. It's yours for the taking to help you grow and stronger and more confident and solid. Today, I want to talk with you about a phrase that I'm sure we've all heard, which is, don't get mad, get even, right? We got, I think I first heard this in Animal House, the movie, um, and we've heard it, uh, Aerosmith has a whole song, don't get mad, get even. Now, they didn't invent these phrases. It's been around for a long time, and I am here to tell you that that is a powerful coaching phrase to hold for your clients. What? What are you talking about, Ben? That's crazy. Yes, it is, but there's a method to this madness. See, here's the deal. There's a let's rewrite what that actually means. So don't get mad. First off is a don't. And it's denying what you're already feeling. So if you're mad, then the last thing that we really as coaches, I'm not talking about life, but as coaches, the last thing that we could ever do to our clients when they start getting mad is to tell them, oh, don't get mad, client. Don't get mad. Being mad is bad. Said, so be glad, whatever it is. We are denying their anger and their frustration and their human emotion and their experience in this. Now, it doesn't mean that we agree. Why? Of course, you should be mad. You should be angry. It's just validating their experience. So the whole thing first about about don't get mad, that starts to cause a little bit of a problem. But that's not really the big deal because as I said, this is actually how to use this phrase as a tool for powerful coaching. So when we talk about getting even, it's really in that old definition, not the powerful coaching definition. Getting even is all about revenge. I'm going to get them. How dare they do this to me? Well, I'll show them. No, I'm not going to get mad. I'm going to get even, which is really just rechanneling your anger into attack. That's it. I'm not going to be defensive. I'm not going to shut down. I'm not going to throw a tantrum. I'm not going to pout and scream and cry. Well, why did this happen to me? I'm not going to be the victim. I'm going to get them. I'm going to channel that anger and that frustration into showing you that you will rue the day of ever having crossed me. Now, you're probably saying, but Ben, that's not powerful coaching. And you're right which is why you're watching this video, because you're already an amazing, brilliant coach. But let's redesign what get even actually means. Because when we talk about powerful coaching, coaching is really about helping our clients find their balance in their lives. This is what we're all striving for. This is when we get angry, we're out of balance. I mean, you get that, right? I'll explain it a little bit more, but I'm, I'm sure you already get this. When I'm angry at somebody, there's something in me that's completely out of whack and out of balance. Now, they may have done something wrong or to merit or whatever or justify or earn my wrath. But the bottom line is I'm angry because I'm out of balance. That's it. Something just got knocked and now I'm unstable, I'm ungrounded, I'm unfocused, I'm unclear, and I'm definitely not in my power. 
and my default survival comes in, and I go straight to battle, fight, protect, defend, kill, or be killed. That's what get mad, get even the old way is all about. So let's rechannel and redesign. Like if getting mad is all about being out of balance, well then, isn't what we're doing helping our clients find their balance again, recover and get back to some sort of stability, some sort of personal empowerment, some sort of ownership and responsibility. In other words, they're balancing themselves out to become even again. Even terms, even sides, even, even as in balanced. Does that make sense? Like the actual work we're doing is not about revenge. It's about let go of the anger, let go or use it as a, as a powerful tool. But it's not about revenge as it is about getting balance. That kind of even, that kind of finding yourself on that equal ground and equal terms within you. The old one is, I'm going to get even, which is you did something to me, I'm doing something to you. Now we're even, ha! Which is external, and it's manipulation, it's control, and it's power, and it's domination, and it's all not productive, because then the other person goes, what? How dare you do that? I'm going to do it to you, and then I'm going to be even. And then even is never accomplished. It's never even when we do that ridiculous battle. But when we let go of that and we look to find how we can get even in ourselves, find that balance in ourselves, what part is out of whack? What part is getting marginalized or knocked off? What values are getting violated or stepped on? And let's start finding a way to, to, to honor and solidify and feed and grow those parts so that when you're out of whack, you get to find and create your evenness, your balance. And in that sense, I know it's a little radical, but it's that way we can actually let go of getting mad and get even, even in you. You get what I'm saying, right? I know you do. Go check out my website, bedo.org, B-E-D-O.org, as in being and doing, finding that balance in your life, finding that even ground, that even energy, and that even way of being. Oh, yeah. Bidu.org. Check it out. Come here, wherever you found this video. There's more. There was more. Go check out the past ones. Check out the future ones. And as always, keep coming back. I'm here to help you find your own even balance in your coaching and so that you can be more powerful, more effective, and more stepping in fully to be the coach you are here to be. And until next time, Happy coaching.